What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're taking a look at 10 awesome applications that are not from the App Store. This is definitely a really cool lineup of applications. Uh, a lot of them will work on iOS 11 if you guys are running the iOS 11 betas. Um, if you're watching this in the future and you have the official iOS 11, I'm sure most of this stuff will work. Just make sure you're subscribed because as things change, I will make new tutorials and show you guys how to get all this stuff. Uh, also, in this video, I'm not going to go in-depth and show you how to install every single application because this would end up being probably a 20-plus minute video, which is a bit too long. So, I will leave all of the application names in the description along with all the information you need in order to get it installed on your device. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into this. The first application I got for you guys is Cydia. Now, I'm sure a lot of my subscribers are going to be like, okay, well, why would you add this onto this list? Well, you got to remember that people are getting iPhones for the very first time uh, every single day. So, I do want to mention Cydia because, honestly, it is one of the best applications you can get on your device. Uh, you need to be jailbroken in order for it to install. I'll mention that. Uh, only select you know versions of iOS are able to be jailbroken. Uh, like I said earlier, just be subscribed to the channel so you know when the newest jailbreaks come out. Uh, but this is one of the best applications, in my opinion, that you could ever, ever have on your device. It allows you to make your device like how you see mine. You can get themes, you can get tweaks, you can change your icon layout, you can do a million things with Cydia. It's, it's seriously an incredible application. Like I said, a jailbreak is required to get Cydia. So that is definitely worth having on your device. The next application I got for you guys is called Tutu, kind of a goofy name. Um, it's basically a alternate app store. It allows you to get paid apps for free, the Plus Plus apps, um, apps that are available from Cydia. Just a lot of really good stuff is found within the Tutu app. Uh, this is the free version. You can get a premium version of it, but I recommend just getting the free version. Uh, you can basically go through and download and install any of these applications that you see. Uh, like I said, um, a lot of the applications in this list are actually from the Tutu app. So this is definitely a powerhouse of an application. Uh, down in the description of the video, I'll leave my tutorial on how to get the Tutu app on your device. I do want to mention also that it does work on iOS 11, so definitely work. Uh, definitely worth having on your device and again that's called the tutu app the next application i got for you guys is called tweak box it's very similar to the tutu app it's much more simple looking there's not quite as much um, you know content or applications to download from it uh, but i did want to include tweak box because there's a very cool section here as you guys can see you see the tweak box apps right there originally from the city store if you go into this section uh, this app will actually allow you to install a profile to use the newest versions of iOS, such as you guys can see right here, iOS 11 beta. So if you wanted to get iOS 11 beta on your device, uh, you can use this application, like I said, to install the profile uh, that will allow you to update to the newest beta uh, versions of iOS. So uh, that itself I thought was really cool, and that's why this application made the list. Uh, of course, there's you know all the different apps that you can download very similar to the Tutu app, uh, some stuff in here you can't find within Tutu. Again, like I said, just a really cool application to have on your device. Again, it's called Tweakbox. Next up, we have iCleaner. This is the jailbreak version. You can get this on a non-jailbreak version as well. I covered it um, a few videos ago. Basically, what this application is going to do is clean out all the crap you do not need on your device. It'll free up space quite a bit of space and it also can potentially make your device a little less laggy and it's definitely worth having. Uh, it's been actually uh, probably two or three weeks since I've uh, cleaned out my device. The last time I did was when I made the tutorial for the non-jailbreak eye cleaner. So we're going to go ahead and click on clean and I'll show you guys how much space you can actually clean up on your device. So we're going to click clean and we we'll am going to go ahead and fast forward uh, till it's done. All right, iCleaner is done cleaning my device. And as you guys can see right there, freed space, it just cleaned up three gigabytes of space on my device. So like I said, iCleaner is an absolute must. It is a really good application. Again, like I said, this is the jailbreak version. There is also a non-jailbreak version. So I'll leave all the information in the description. Next up, we have MovieBox. This is an awesome application. I use it all the time, 
basically what I'll do is watch movies and I'll put it into AirPlay and play it on my TV through my Apple TV. So like I said, I use this all the time. MovieBox allows you to watch all the newest movies for free, 100% free. Some of the movies on here aren't you know, even available yet. They might still be in theaters. Uh, so along with the movies, you also do have the TV shows section as well. You can download TV shows and movies so that you can watch them in offline when you're not connected to Wi-Fi or cellular. Uh, but like I said, it's just awesome to be able to watch all these movies 100% free on your device. There is a jailbreak version of MovieBox, and there's also a non-jailbreak version as well. All the info will be down in the description. Next up, we have an application called TV. This is a new app. I've never covered it on the channel, so it's kind of exclusive to this top 10 list. Uh, it's definitely a really cool app. I downloaded it through the Tutu app, decided to try it out, and it's awesome. Pretty much it allows you to watch live television on your device. Now, the only issue is that, you know, there is advertisements within this app. So every time you choose a channel to watch, you'll get an ad pop up. But, you know, still nonetheless, you're watching live TV on your iPhone. So it's a really cool uh, application. Like I said, I'm not going to actually go into any of these channels because I'm sure there's going to be some sort of copyright issue putting TV shows on in a video. Uh, but like I said, it's a really cool application. There's lots of different categories, as you guys can see here. And like I said, just watch you know, live TV on your device. Definitely awesome. Now, if you guys are into retro gaming, this is an application that you're definitely going to want on your device. It's called Happy Chick. I've covered a lot here on the channel. I absolutely love using this just because I love playing retro games. And it also does have controller support. I do have the controller. I've covered it all in previous videos. I'll leave a bunch of links in the description in case you guys want to check it out. Uh, but if we go into my games, here are the games that I've downloaded that I can play on my device. If we go into categories, these are all the uh, systems that you can download games for. This is pretty much a multi-system emulator. You can play PSP games, N64, Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, PlayStation, Nintendo DS, and a bunch of others. So once you've decided, you know, which uh, gaming system you want to look for a game on, you just click on the gaming system. We'll go into Super Nintendo, and pretty much all you got to do is go through the list, find your old favorite games, click on download, and then once it's down, done downloading, you can go into the My Games section and play it. Uh, the application does have on-screen controls, and like I said, it also does have uh, GameSir controller support. It's seriously awesome to play old school games on your device with a controller. It takes it to a whole nother level. Again, this application is called Happy Chick. One of the most common questions here on the channel is, where did you get that wallpaper? Well, I use a couple of applications, but uh, one of the main ones is called iDevice Walls. This is normally from Cydia, but I recently made a tutorial on how to get it uh, on a non-jailbroken device, and it's a really cool application to get wallpapers from. There's a lot of awesome wallpapers. Uh, like I said, this originated from Cydia. Uh, the creator or developer of this application only puts high-definition, high-quality uh, wallpapers in here, so it looks good even on the larger uh, iPhones and it is updated all the time. The developer adds new wallpapers almost on a daily basis. So the, you know, the gallery of all these different wallpapers is constantly growing. They're all HD. They all look really good. The app itself has got a really simple user interface. It's really easy to just pick a wallpaper, go ahead and click on save, and it'll save directly to your camera roll. Definitely a really cool application to have on your device. If you like to change your wallpapers all the time, like I do, again, it's called iDevice Walls. The next application I got for you guys is called Every Chord. I believe that's the name of it. Um, it is downloaded through the Tutu app. I just tried it out the other day, and I absolutely love it. A lot of people cover an application called Airshow, or Airshoe, however you say it. Uh, it's pretty much an application to record your screen. And I decided to go with Every Chord because it is so simple and convenient to use on your device. I absolutely love the setup of uh, the application. So pretty much all you gotta do is come in here, create a name, we'll just make it that. Click on done, confirmation, yes. And then you'll get a little pop up here. We'll click on done and now the application, every cord is screen capturing or screen recording my device. So anything I do on my device is being recorded. We can go back into the application, done, yes. It'll compile the video, as you guys can see right here. 
And then you can find your recordings in the My Recordings section. And as you guys can see, and as you guys can see, it also can record audio through your microphone as you do it as well. Uh, definitely a really cool application. Again, it's called Every Chord. And the last application I got for you guys is Spotify. Now I'm sure you have heard of Spotify, but this is a tweaked version. It's called the Spotify Plus Plus, and it's from the Tutu app. You will download it through the Tutu app. Again, I'll leave all that info in the description, but it's pretty much Spotify Premium for free, which is seriously awesome. Uh, if you guys have never used Spotify, it's pretty much one of the best applications, in my opinion, to have on your device for music. The music library that they have is pretty incredible. They have probably anything you could think of to search it up and, you know, add it to a playlist or listen to, you know, the radio feature. And it's awesome because, like I said, Spotify Plus Plus is the premium version for free. So definitely worth having on your device if you love listening to music. A very cool application. So there you go, guys. Those are 10 awesome free applications to get on your device that are not available in the app store. Uh, like I said, I will leave all the apps names listed in the description and I'll also uh, put all the information you will need in order to get the applications onto your device, all the tutorials and all that. Uh, if you guys are jailbroken, I'll also leave uh, the Cydia versions of these apps as well if you'd rather get it through Cydia than to you know, do it the non-jailbreak way. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this lineup. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.